Okay, so as I said, I thought we'd do the next video I do would be on a respirator of some description, and I thought we'd do something on a little bit different. I don't think it's a video covering one of these on YouTube. I could be wrong, but this is the um, British Army Special T Mic uh, respirator, which uh, is a little bit different than the standard issue general service respirator uh, with the Mark IV face piece. Uh, and we'll have a look at it and see uh, what makes it different. And I'll show you the have a set contents as well, and um, just run through a few of the details. Okay, so the specialty mic is a version of the uh, Mark IV uh, general service respirator. The Mark IV coming from the face piece, of course. The filter in this case is a Mark uh, is it six E? Yeah, sorry, E six. As you can see there, uh, the red the brick red filter. Uh, there are two different marks of buff filter that I know of. There are probably earlier types as well. Um, it's not an area that there's a huge amount written on the earlier uh, stuff, but this is sort of the, from 1940 onwards, um, the standard filter you see, um, which replaced the, the buff coloured uh, filters. This particular example um, is dated 1942, as you can see on the side there. It's nicely stamped. Um, and if I can turn this round so you can see it more clearly, there we go. Avon, large lot, 2736, and the broad arrow here. Um, what makes these different, of course, from the, the standard Mark IV face piece is this plug and the clamp here, which can be removed and a microphone can be inserted for those who are using a radio. Um, the Mark V face piece, um, has a rubber uh, moulding on the face piece which can be used to insert a microphone um, but this was the version of the respirator you'd be issued specifically if you were a radio, radio operator before the Mark V came into service and continued onwards. I also believe that you would be issued a mic tee special if you wore spectacles um, and it's marked inside. Now how's best to show this? Let's see if I can open this up and get the doing it one handed there we go um, see their special T mic um, otherwise it's very similar to the standard the screw in eyepieces of the later Mark IVs um, the same uh, XL valve at the front here the tube to the filter, the filter is a standard filter a standard um, E6 filter uh, I forget what date's on the filter now. Let's have a look. Wrong way up. Helps. Looking through the camera doesn't make it as as easy. 42. Um, so that's the that's the respirator itself. We'll have a look at the Haversack now and I'll show you the contents of that. It comes with a Mark 7 Haversack, which is the Haversack famously uh, used by Indiana Jones as a uh, satchel, uh, which is wrong because they didn't come out until 1941 but uh, never mind that's the nerd in me um, it's the it's a basically simplified version of the earlier type so you don't have any hooks or anything it's just the strap just passes through rings at the side two buckles on the strap to adjust it little loop there through which the the, the string passes when you wear it at the alert on the chest the string in contrast to earlier types which we'll look at in other videos I'll do some ones on the earlier ones the the string would pass through that um, so your arm would go through the gap there, but through the gap there, this would come down behind your head and be held in place by this string uh, passing through that loop and then f fixes off to this buckle. You basically just wrap the string around like that rather than having to tie it off in earlier. You wrap 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 around several times like a cleat on a on a boat and it holds the string in place. Um, and that uh, replaces the, the uh, necessity of tying the string on uh, to earlier earlier uh, have a sax two little vents in the bottom there two little eyelets with uh, on them stamped up at the top here this one is dated 1941 mark 7 there are several compartments inside there are two main compartments a large compartment here at the front and then a divided compartment in the center um, the filter fits in on the right here and would not normally be removed from the have a sack um, and the, the face piece fits on the left here uh, when not being used. Now the, the contents here um, are a an anti-dim 
uh, outfit, Mark VI. Let me show you here. 41. And that attaches to a little lanyard to prevent it being lost. And there's a specific little pouch for that here. So there's that. A wallet of eye shields, Mark III, anti gas, dated 1942, 1142. And then on the right hand side here, we have a, a wadge of cotton waste, which is used for removing. This is done in the specific way that the manual suggests is to have two, one wadge ready and another one underneath the tin of ointment. This is used for um, sloughing off uh, excess uh, blister agents from the skin, so mustard gas essentially, which is actually a vapour and uh, pools as a liquid. This would be used to swab that off and then you'd apply, this is a tin of Mark 5, uh, number 5 sorry, ointment anti-gas number 5, dated 40, 42 is it? I think it's 42 this came out, yeah. And it does have the tubes in there with the, I think this one I actually had to make the cardboard insert for, because um, it was missing. Yeah, I think that's that's a new, that's a new cardboard insert that I had to make for that. But the tubes I think are actually number six, so I, f I think this is a tin I filled. I don't know if you can see on there, it's actually stamped. Uh, number six, or cast number six is cast into the end of the tubes. So I filled that tin. I bought it empty and, and bought some tubes to to go in it from uh, World War Wonders, I think it was. Um, so they're not the correct tubes, but they look exactly the same um, as the number five ointment, uh, which also came in plain lead tubes rather than being painted. So that's the contents of the haversack. Um, and uh, as I say, this is sort of set up for a late 1942. Um, use uh, prior to the, the light anti-gas respirator coming in because of course a lot of men continue to use the um, the general service respirator and the, the mic T etc who weren't in sort of front line um, units. Uh, the, the light anti-gas respirator was issued to um, to front line units first so these this style with the hose and the filter continued in use for some time. So there it is, the special T mic respirator with the haversack contents. I uh, hope you found that interesting and uh, so I'll have to come up with another video soon. Not sure what it's going to be on. We shall see. Might be another respirator. We will see.